Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speed Star, reporting for the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the previous episode, we got through half the Fire Sanctuary getting the Magma Mints. And in this episode, we're gonna hopefully do more in the Fire Sanctuary. Now, the reason why I'm staying back there is because, uh, also last time we had, we ran into a Magma who needs help. We should help him right away, but... If I remember right, ah, yeah. There is one thing we couldn't do yet that we needed the dungeon item for. We needed the magma mitts. And, uh, I'm gonna pull up my map here, click, click six, so I can make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm finally getting to do it. I'm so after long this. L last time I, last time I tried to record, it was a bit of a failed recording because. Uh, that little problem again. One from New Super Luigi U where it just froze up at a certain point. Maybe not that exact same thing, but well, whatever. It's a recording, and I know what I was doing wrong. I know what I did wrong in that last one, so yeah, I don't have to really skip out on that much. Anyway, yeah, I just want to backtrack here because there's an item that I want to get that we can get now we have Mock Mitts and uh, excuse if I sound weird, I kind of feel a little under the weather. I'm not, I'm not like totally sick like coughing or all that, I'm mostly stuffed up. So, you can say I got off pretty easy. So yeah, uh, you remember that Magmanos there, right? One more that we needed to eat. Use. I just need to get away because in order to uh, do what I want to do, we have to kill it. And there we go. I think that's technically all the Magmanos in Skyward Sword. Because I think they are exclusive to this dungeon and there's only three of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, but a little under the weather. It's alright. Again, I got up easy. Just being stuffed up. Yeah, I wanted to get this chest here. Because inside this treasure chest, we get a bottle. Our fourth bottle. Now, you think there might be uh, four bottles in, in the game, unless there usually are in most Zelda games. No, there's five in this game. Just like uh, in A Link Between Worlds. Yeah. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to do that one, and... Yeah, well, Whatever. I got that done, uh... I got that done, so... I don't know. It's, uh... The day I record this, it's, uh... December 30th, 2013, so obviously this is gonna be up for New Year's. I was really hoping to be able to do more, but unfortunately, uh, everyone's been around at home, and... I... Again, I like to do it when no one's home makes me feel better about doing it, because then I can be more open. At least, uh, in terms of how people know me on the internet. Of sorts. But yeah, yeah, just wanted to get that done, uh, let's claw shot all the way back over, uh, yeah, so here's been, here's been pretty okay. This month has actually been very, very warm for December. And by very warm, I mean, like, we've only had, like, a few days where it's been a little bit under zero. But other than that, it's been closely around zero. It's even gone above sometimes. I don't have a knock or anything, but, uh... It is pretty odd to have a pretty warm December this year. And again, it basically is the, uh, start of winter, sort of. I kind of did get snow in November, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. I don't know, it was actually snowy today, too. What am I thinking of? Oh, right, I gotta go around if I wanna do this, I think. Alright, yeah. Uh, I know I did, like, a recording of this before, it's actually been... I think it's been a couple weeks since I did a recording last. Maybe a couple. I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping track. I've just 
I've just been wanting to uh, record something for quite a while now. Yeah, uh, I was really hoping to be able to uh, do some more recordings this month. Unfortunately, that is not the case. And hopefully, I'll be able to solve that soon because I'm um, hopefully going to get my room insulated. Got some pretty, got some pretty good insulation. It says it's supposed to be soundproof and it's mostly going up on the ceiling. Might do a little bit in the wall too, cause I was checking my wall and uh, I might find this weird, but half of it seems kind of hollow. And by half of it, I mean like just the the, the half that's outside my room, the half that's inside my room seems to be insulated, but the uh, other half isn't. Also heard uh, using uh, egg. Egg cartons also works if you use a certain use them in a certain way. I think you can, uh, yeah, get them fixed. You can fix it so they uh, trap sound or something. I don't totally understand it, but if it if it works, if it at least helps the if it helps the sound, then uh, yeah, then I'll be able to record without any real worries, unless someone decides to just. Try to listen in, or uh, I don't know. I helped him. Okay, so uh, uh, all right now, what I believe is this guy gives you the dungeon map of the, the fire sanctuary. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, hidden room. Um, so I'm totally okay with that. Oh. Hey, we meet again. <laughs> Sorry, but I kind of happened over here that conversation. It seems one of my guys was giving you a hard time. Sorry about that. Yeah. That stuff he was saying was all true. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in this room, I tell you. I can smell it. I figured the information in that chest would be useful to you. Now, you don't necessarily have to get this. It is a dungeon map, though, and I am trying to 100% this game. There you go, dungeon map. And there is, in fact, a hidden room, which is somewhere around there, and there's not that much left to explore the fire sanctuary. Fake wall somewhere. Not really a fake wall. But, uh... This is actually a fire. Now, I believe it's somewhere around there. I'll just pull out a second bomb over here in case I miss it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's okay. It's okay, I got plenty of bombs. Bombs? You wanted to get the kill my friend. Why am I quoting? Why am I quoting that bomb thing? Because I can. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Alright, so, uh... Okay, down here, we've, we've now run into... In this version of the in Sky Resort, Moldorms. You'll only find them in underground passages like this. It takes three hits to kill them usually. And how you kill them is you have to hit them on, on the back. Basically, uh, right at the end. Yeah. Which is obviously shown by that, uh, by that big bulging orange spot, orange spot right there. If it stopped moving around so fast, I could get it. I don't want to run this down before I catch up to it, because then if... Yeah, it's moving faster than I am, isn't it? Oh, crap! Oh, it got me. It got me. God, this is stupid. Oh wait, you don't even have to defeat it. You just have to get out of here. Yeah, you just have to get out of here. You don't have to kill it. What was I thinking? Ah, uh, I guess from I guess from the experience that you get from fighting these things in my other playthroughs that you have to uh, kill them in order to proceed. That's in some areas though. Anyway, small key. Uh, that's, we'll unlock that. 
door that we were locked right next to the bar gate from where we started the recording. We... We... Yeah, speaking of we, uh... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was trying that Project M thing again. I don't think it works on my Wii U. I don't know, someone... Someone commented on YouTube that it does work for them on their Wii U. I'm finding that hard to believe now, because it... I just got the latest version downloaded onto an SD card, and I thought it would work. It wouldn't, and I was hope hoping it wouldn't, like, do any uh, damage to my uh, Wii U data-wise, because if it does, then I'm royally screwed, because you know how much that thing costs. Sure, it's got a bit of a... Sure, it's had a bit of a, uh... A price drop since the release, but, uh... I don't know. I got mine on release date. Because I didn't want to... I didn't want to wait for it. I wanted it. I got it. I could afford it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, finally in some of the unexplored areas, and... We've got more Bokoblin archers. And a choo-choo right here! Get off me, get off me. I almost said the urge to you. To yell one of the TF2 fire quotes. Except I'm fireproof now. But! Boom! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Snap! Good job, Mike! Uh, oh wait, I already said that. I said that before. I don't know what to say at this point. Except I... Boko, Blin, yeah, you're dark. Yes, still one left. Come on, get down here so I can kill you. No, it's actually, I was still stunned when I found out they They sometimes hold evil crystals. That's pretty nice. Uh, oh, dark spear right there. Oh, jeez, I remember this. I remember this. So, for right here, there's a, um, there's a magma here who will, uh, close that gate, and you have to catch him. Uh, so he's busy burning the midnight oil again with the loot. Yeah, just... Yeah, you hit that. Once you get through here... Yeah, there you go. He pushes it, and now you're trapped. So... You now have to catch him. Ah, green monster. I can't believe they're following us down here now. You never see that, like, in first person. Or... Not in top down. Yeah, you never really see that in top down. Okay. Ah, darn it. We're out of stamina. I hate that. So yeah, he'll know we were there. So you gotta try... You gotta find a way to... Uh, you gotta find a way to, uh... Yeah. Outmaneuver him. Especially when he goes around like that. Oh! Come on. Don't make this any harder on yourself. <sighs> Man. It's doing so good on the first recording. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. You gotta, you gotta outmaneuver him. But believe me, that is really... Uh, it's a pretty... I don't... I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, there we go. Got that guy. I think that's the last Magma you'll encounter uh, story-wise. But there is one more that we're gonna find uh, for a side quest. Uh-huh. And that's place, yada yada. Open the door for us. I hit my headset. Headset's still doing pretty well. Anyway, yeah, uh, open this up. And what do we have? We have a piece of heart. Completes another heart container. And there we go. We only have four more to find. I'm just gonna shoot you. 
Dark Ace. Get, get out of here. Hey. Hey. Gotcha. Oh, look, he fell in the lava. I guess y'all understand why uh, darkness-based monsters are appearing in uh, a fire-based temple. Eh. I'm not gonna question it. It's Nintendo logic. And Nintendo not logic defies pretty much everything. Including how long you can hold your breath underwater. That's not just Nintendo logic. That's game logic. That's a game logic rule. Characters can hold their breath for as long as they feel they need to. And they don't need to take air tanks or anything with them. Yeah, oh man. I seriously hate this part. I believe this is an instant death trap if you don't make it. And with how how badly I'm doing, I feel like I'm not gonna make it. Am I really gonna get my first game over this let's play? I seriously hope not, because I do not want to get a game over. That stamina fruit, yeah probably do not want to get. I mean it. Don't get it. Honestly, it's more wise to carry a stamina potion here, but... I... Uh, oh, I can't show him. Okay, let's hit that and... Oh, hit my mic again. And here we go. I probably should give myself a moment to get ready and... Go, 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 go! Come on! Ah, uh, don't like this. Seriously, don't go for it, that's why. Okay, give yourself a moment. And just run! Or dig, dig, dig! statue inside a dungeon where you can uh, go to the sky because technically you're not inside you're outside and going here the bridge of decision choose the path you believe in move forward bravely this is what all those models are talking about and if you don't just use statues there that one has its eyes open that one has its eyes closed it looks like it's sleeping take a good take a good start and leap of faith Dive down! And there you go. Ow! Okay. That I did not expect to do. Oh well. There's a uh, goddess wall right there if I need anything, and I probably don't. I could. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pull up, pull up the goddess heart. Yeah, there's just a goddess wall right there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get some more rupees. Because I want to get rupees. I want to be able to buy things. I'm talking all silly, aren't I? That's a pretty bad rupee. Well, then again, my controller is pretty uh weird. Uh, whatever. Rupees. Gotta get lots of rupees, and there's one way I'll be able to, but first, before I think about rupees, let's think about listening to that awesome mini-boss music again. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, darn, I thought I would target on him. I thought I targeted that one. Your lizard tail as my trophy. Oh 
Oh, I love that music. I love that music so much. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna fish it that easy. I wanna listen to this music. And it's done. Now, if only Link could do that cool sword shady move he does in Twilight Princess with that. That would make that the perfect ending to that perfect mini boss song. Okay, it's not necessarily perfect, but what the heck? I love it. And if I love it, it's perfect. Your opinion does not matter. No offense. I never try to be offensive to people. Unless they really try to do something to me, then of course I'll be as offensive as I want. And, uh, is there a goddess wall or is this gossip statue here? It's a goddess wall. And I don't need it. Well, why the heck not? More rupees! I'm feeling greedy. I'm feeling wild greedy. After all, the mod must call us treasure hunters, so that's what we're kind of doing. We're hunting for treasure. Well, we're not hunting for treasure like pirates, but we're hunting for treasure like treasure hunters. Like Indiana Jones. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know where I'm going with that. I just, I just wanted to say something. So I'm trying to make this entertaining. I'm trying to make this a little entertaining. And such. Lost shots right here. Uh... Oh, hey, there's someone up there. Oh, that just. That just led to, well. Oh! Okay, pardon that. Get out of your dark keys. Nobody likes you. I don't like you. You curse me. You curse me, and I do not want to be cursed. Oh, good. Three in a row, and there was an evil crystal that just fell down. I don't think I need evil crystals anymore. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna go get it, because I don't want to... I don't want to fall all the way down there. Uh, okay, I'm at 22 and a half minutes. I may end this early. Or I may go back up to the sky and do stuff. Necessarily need to. Okay, bring light to each statue in accordance with the number of wings each possesses from least to most. When light resides in each statue, the king's treasure shall be yours. Sorry, uh, sniffles. I'll try to handle that. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, you always get that one automatically. You can, uh, yeah, just use the, uh, just hold down the Z button on the nunchuck to, uh, see which one you're doing which one you're going after uh, there's a mole dorm over there I'm gonna go down here you don't want to do that one yet okay yeah you want to go up here then you want to go down you want to go down and get on that one and this should do it, and cue the mini boss music. Because now we are trapped in here and we have to defeat the Moldorm to get past. And there, here comes the music. Uh, get out of there. Get out of there. Thank you. Really, this is where a stamina potion is most helpful. Ooh, nice! Never get it while it's uh Oh jeez! Oh, was this music? If only it wasn't uh being dis if only we didn't have those uh, sounds Oh jeez! That Moldorn saw me, it would have been running right at me and, and Oh oh lord, oh lord, oh no, oh no, oh no uh oh, it saw me! Oh! I guess that works. Anyway, there you go. Done. Oh man, I love that music. Of course, like, uh, like I said before, it's usually delayed a little bit for me, but you guys always hear it when it actually is supposed to start. 
I don't know. Okay, I'm at 25 and a half minutes. I don't know if I'll do anything else in this dungeon, because I don't really have anything else to do, and the boss does take a little bit. Anyway, you got the mysterious crystals. This mass is made of a faintly growing, glowing square crystals. Several are missing. Hmm. Yeah, nothing really... Nothing really much else I can do. I could probably go get more arrows or, uh... You know, use something, uh... You know what, I'm gonna use my revitalizing potion, because why the hell not? I wanted, I wanted to upgrade it, but... Oh, there's our hearts right there, yeah. I wanna use it because I wanna grab... I wanna go back up to Skyloft and grab some. I wanna grab another stamina potion, and I wanna upgrade it, because I'm gonna need it soon. And what's in here? There is a fairy in there! I don't need fairies. I'm awesome! I'm too awesome for fairies. The only time I need a fairy is if I was playing a second quest. In like a game, because some games you have second quests. And like in Wind Waker HD, I'm actually doing hero mode at the moment. I already finished the second dungeon and I... Well, I haven't gotten a game over yet. I have. No, I don't. I'm not gonna all run anymore. I'm just gonna take a leisurely cruise up to the sky and see what I can do before I take on the boss in the next episode, because I do not want to take on the boss this episode. Because the boss can take a little while, and I do not want to make this run very long. Yeah. Yes, I don't know how long it's going to take, and uh, I don't want to have to, like, get stuck on something and such. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a leisurely ride through the clouds. So. I don't have any guns, Jessica. No, I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, there's only, like, two goddess chests left in the game, and there's only four pieces of heart, too. Some you can actually get up here. Yeah, there's three... There's two you can get up here, I remember. And there's one on the surface that I know about. I'm trying to think of where that last one is. But I don't know. There is one we can get now. I could go for that, but... One thing I could do is I can get a stamina potion right here. I still need to get an air potion for later on. And I still need to, uh... Oh yeah, I can also bring on my other bottle, too. So then I can get the revitalizing potion, too. <laughs> so I have like 28 minutes. Yeah, there's also a minigame that's open now that... ...happens to, uh... ...involve Fledge. I think I mentioned that. I think I did. Yeah, you get a piece of heart if you get a certain amount of... Do it just right. Uh, oh, good! I can do this. Yeah, I went and grind some, some bugs a little bit. Yeah, I want to do that because uh, stamina potion plus. You will absolutely never run out of stamina as long as you hold it. And I might as well bring out the potion metal too, because then it doubles the uh, it doubles the length of. Uh, it doubles, the, it doubles the time period of... Yeah, you know what I mean. Your potion lasts twice as long. At least I think so. And let's bring out my other bottle. Because I don't need this large bomb bag. Just pull that out. I'll grab that potion medal another time, because I want to have both my heart medals. You know what? I'm not going to use that anymore. I'm... I'm gonna bring out my... Yeah, I'm gonna bring that out. Alright, so that's done. I've done a little shopping, preparing. 
I should get that air potion sometime, but I don't want to get it yet because I don't need it. Well, technically, you don't actually need it for anything. But, uh, it is very helpful, and I want to get every potion fully upgraded at least once. Yeah, if you come to Fledge over here by the uh, training hall, the sparring hall, pretty much maxed out on push ups. Wanna actually have some Whoa, that's one sweet bow you got there, Link. Bet you're total natural, the two. Yep. I get a lot of headshots, so. Even if I work my way through that, push ups on me. I got it. Why don't you show me how good you are with that bow? I'm gonna toss some pumpkins into the air. You show me how good you are by filling them full of arrows. Yeah, there. Yeah, sure, it's like wasting food, but whatever. Anyway, this uh, pumpkin mini game, if you. This pumpkin mini game. Yeah, what he's saying, if you get consecutive hits, you'll increase your points. Oh, right. You have to pay rupees. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of these things cost rupees. Now, I had had issues where my. where my uh, pointer was quite out of control. Yeah, just figure out where they're gonna go. Don't worry, you'll never run out of arrows. Hit the sparkling ones, and you'll uh, get extra points. You see, you get more points for every time you do that, and uh, you want to try and get as many as you can. And if you miss, then you have to start over. Not with points, but you start over your chain. Yeah, I really don't like how his cursor's being right now, but that's what the, uh, center functions for, is to make up for that. Oh! Missed. Alright, come on, let's... Oh, good, got that one. Gets me 40 points right away! Now, it's, he's gonna make it harder for you the more you get points. What you wanna shoot for is 600, I believe. If you can shoot for 600 within his time limits, I believe this is where you get the piece of heart. Okay, come on. You're doing pretty good, but I'm not gonna make it now, am I? You can get a treasure or something if you get less than 600, but... A pretty good amount. And... The last one. Oh my god! 600 right off the... 600 exactly! I can't believe I got that! <sighs> wow! Just... Wow! I don't know where I'm getting this luck! I'm sorry. Just... Wow. I excel on all these games that I've... On these little mini games that I struggle with. Like on the first try. Okay, man, not the first try on some things, like Dodo. That was during a failed recording, though, but. On the successful recording, yeah, I did on the first try. I can't believe my luck with this game! I guess this game knows that it wants me to succeed. It wants me 100% it. And I will not let it down, and I'm just gonna get some more arrows, cause, uh... I would like to have plenty of arrows in case I need them. Again. I'm still... Still... Oh, I need to calm down. I could get another revitalizing potion if I need it, but, uh... You know what? I'm gonna buy that air potion just for the heck of it. Oh. It allow you, allows you to hold your breath longer, and then you'll be able to breathe underwater if you upgrade it. And I'm gonna see if I can upgrade it. I'm boss effective for three minutes. There is a point where this is gonna be very useful, but you may want to upgrade it so you can actually stay underwater. It's also useful in the ancient cistern if you're doing something like the, uh, like that one part. Now, can I upgrade this air potion? No, I can't because I need two sky stack wheels. Which, coincidentally, 
I can get up here and get Skylock. And I can do that another time. I'm not real afraid, or I could, I could do it off screen. Because, yeah, they're just up here in Skyloft, so why the heck, why the heck not? Alright, so it's been pretty long. I'm just gonna... I'll save the Fire Sanctuary, but I will end it off here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're gonna head back down to the Fire Sanctuary, take on the boss, and get the last Sacred Flame. This is Matt the Speedstar, signing off.